For I call this faithful by whom you were calling to the fellowship of the Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. Hello, my dear listeners. What a wonderful day. This is your program, Jitayos World. Is a faithful God. Is a faithful God. Is a faithful God. It's Christmas season. It is time to wiggle our waist and celebrate the joy of Christmas. Welcome to another fresh episode of the program, Jitayos World, a world of music. I am Dele Ogontola, your hunker man. <laughs> Good morning. The program is sponsored by Jitayos Music Production, North Carolina, USA. My this year, God bless you. God bless you. Today, Ojo, fine boy, no pimples, is here with me in the studio. And to all our fans all over the world, we love you. We love you. On behalf of Jitayos team, Eshe Gran Kukbo Kukbo. Ha, Rehoboth 2020. The program has come and gone. Bubba ain't here. Why do you I do you I do Christy Lord John. Ah, hey, I will. I can get a bad one. Dear, I don't touch Last week, Friday, near Rehoboth 2020. Right, hallelujah. To the organizers of the program, Detail Music Production, North Carolina, USA, more strength, more grace. Our host, our daddy in the Lord, Olu Victor, more anointing, sir. Daddy Olu Victor, more anointing. And to our co host, Pastor Tokwe Olatoye and Pastor Shima Bayomi, the presence of the Lord will not depart from you in Jesus' name. Ah, our guest ministers, Pastor Adiolu Wadebite, Damigo Yi, Pastor Blessing Ayaniola, 
and may you work stronger and stronger in the Lord in Jesus' name. May the blessing you received during the program be permanent in Jesus' name. I'm telling you, watch out for more of this from Digital Music Production. Mm, watch out for more. All right, let us move to the next segment of the program. Let's start the program bit by bit. Jitayas word. Hi, ah, my name is Mrs. Fanny J. Crosby Van Asten. I was born in the town in New York State in March 1820, when the weather was still cold. Soon after birth, I caught a cold, and my eyes became red and inflamed. My parents called the local doctor. A family doctor could not come, so they called a young doctor with little experience. He wanted to reduce the inflammation, so he applied a mustard poultice to my eyes. I immediately lost my sight, becoming completely blind. The doctor was devastated, and my parents were distressed, but they realized he had been trying to help. My father died while I was still a baby. My mother had little education, so she got a job as a housekeeper for another family to support us. She left me in the care of my grandmother. My grandmother set about to teach me as best she could to be happy and independent. She took me for long walks. She would stop along the way to teach me the names of the flowers. I soon learned to recognize them by their smell. She encouraged me to play with other children. I learned to climb to the top of the tallest trees without fear. I also enjoyed riding the horses on the farm. People who saw me playing did not realize that I was blind. My first poem was published when I was eight years old. It was based on my experience, for I had written these words. Hmm. Oh, what a happy child I am. Although I cannot see, I am resolved that in this world, contented I will be. How many blessings I enjoy that other people don't. So weep or sigh because I am blind. I cannot and I won't. Hmm, being blind? It was easy for me to memorize. By the time I was 10 years old, I could recite by memory eight books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus and Numbers in the Old Testament and the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John in the New Testament. That is 242 chapters in all. I memorized these chapters by listening to my grandmother as she read the Bible to me. There were no schools for the handicapped near my house. I used to pray fervently, Dear Lord, Dear Lord, help me to learn like other children. When I was 12 years old, I entered the New York City Institution for the Blind. This was a boarding school. I was very homesick at first. The teachers tried to stop me from writing poems, so I would concentrate on my school subjects. We studied all the subjects taught in other schools, and I enjoyed all my studies except one. Except one. Which one? I will tell you next week. That's my story. Hmm. Vanny Jane Crosby, an American mission worker, poet, lyricist, and a composer. She was one of the most prolific hymnists in history, written more than 8,000 hymns and gospel songs, with more than 100 million copies printed, despite being blind. Born 24th March 1820, died 12th February 1915. From a Yoruba saying, Eni ti o ni kwe tan, an kotan ko wa, se ta wo ta kaye ni, abi yo ta kwa fe. This is my story. Now to the next segment of the program, Jetayos Music. The music for today, Aye Ye. We love you, Jesus. Yeah. Ooh, ah, yeah. You've done me well, oh, ah, yeah. You make me feel, oh Lord. Like you never felt before You touch my life And you set me free That's what I sing I for time That's what I sing I yeah for time I'm 
Download Jitayas music on iTunes and other digital platforms. Follow Olu Akade on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at Olu Akade. Ah, now let us listen to the word for the week from the CEO, Jitayas Music Production, USA. I can, you can, I can. Season 2, Episode 4. Good morning, everyone. My name is Olua Konde from GTA Music. Philippines 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. After creation, God evaluated that he had created particularly you and her, and he said, perfect. God sees you as a beautiful being that he created. He wants us to show forth his glory. He created you and bestowed on you all that you need to be who he wants you to be. So until you begin to see yourself in the light of God, you may not believe in yourself. Do not judge yourself by the circumstances around them or around you or around the situation. Moses sends out spies to Canaan and 10 of them came back saying, they were like grasshoppers before the Canaanite and Israelite broke down in tears. Whose report will you believe? Whose report will you believe by your life? The report that God says you will be lifted. All the other reports that are not good from the word. 
Sometimes you have to look at the report of the world and stay focused and key into the revelation of God's words and lifting plan for your life. Because of this report, it said only those who were 20 years below, including two who have a good report, will enter the promised land. Do not look down on yourself. God is not happy about that. It makes him feel you don't know who you are. Believing in yourself is not pride at all. It is believing that you can achieve great things with God on your side. It means focusing on the gods you carry inside. You have to start believing in yourself from today. Hope for great things. Believe. Replace fear with faith and depression with motivation. Good morning. Go for today and do great things. You are lifted above all principality, above all power. Great things shall come to your way. Believe. Have faith. Take a step of faith and move forward. Shalom.